everyone, my name is Haley Johns. I'm here at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota, located off of Lake Superior. Today I get to show you the 2022 Keystone, Montana High Country 351BH. Like always, we'll start on the outside and work our way on the inside. Let's have a look. Nice fiberglass siding. The front cap wraps around, which helps so you don't have seams right on the edge. It's for your propane. Nice large pass-through storage. Great things about pass-through storage is that you're able to access it from both sides. This is large enough you'd be able to put quite a few different things in there. There's also a satellite and cable hookup along with an outlet and a motion sensored light as well. And then on the outside here, you have an additional outlet. We're gonna work our way on the inside in just a moment. This camper comes into us just under 13,000 pounds. It has three slides. This is your outdoor kitchen. Comes with LED lights, a nice motion sensored light. Storage. There is an outlet here. I don't know if you can see that, but you can plug in that waffle maker or maybe that pizza pizzazz. You do get a two burner stove there. Look what they added in. A nice cutting board says Montana on it and of course a mini fridge for your beverages. Outdoor kitchens are nice because you can keep the party outside without getting bugs or other things in and out of your your camper. Nice large storage in the back. It's got that nice extra coating here so if you put heavier, larger things, it's not going to poke through that siding, which is nice and handy. Alright, moving on down. It's your black tank, gray tank, there's two gray tank holes there as well. Your convenience center, you do have a hot and cold water exterior shower. It has all of your hookups and tank flush systems. Now you do have this pocket here. This can come out. And then you can access all the way down. So your hoses can go through and then that way your pass-through storage door can still be shut. So anything that might be in that pass-through storage will still be safe while the hoses still have access to what they need to. We do have auto leveling, electric leveling on this fifth wheel, which is fantastic. Road armor hitch. And then you do get this nice extra um, mirror. So then that way you have visibility when you're hooking that hitch up into the bed of your truck. This fifth wheel does have two awnings. I'm going to back up quite a bit here so you can see. We've got one awning here and another awning here. It is slightly windy today so I'm not going to put those awnings out at the moment. All right, stairs that go all the way to the ground. Nice for stability. Nice great big grab handle. And on we go. When you first walk in the doorway, there is coat hooks, key hooks, nice little cork board. You can leave a message. Don't forget to pick up chips at the store or whatever you're in need of. Convenience center. Now, this Keystone Montana High Country, the 351BH, does come with the 400i solar system so what that means is you have solar up top and it is inverted you do have an inverter so this is your inverter it can keep or your inverter it keeps track of it here you turn the power on other 
such things, which means dragonfly battery, lithium batteries are nice. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start in the kitchen. I back up a little way so you can see quite a bit of storage here. Nice, tall cupboards. Nice little nook in here. I put my phone so you could see. You can plug in a phone, plug in a tablet. Sometimes it's just nice to drop your phone somewhere. This would be a great coffee bar. You do have an outlet up above, so you could make that into a coffee bar. Or maybe that's where you make your waffles. Storage there as well. And here we'll get into the pantry. Now, if you're traveling with pets, this would be a great place for dog dishes and other such things. Otherwise, that's a great place to put all those beverages when you have cases and motion censored light. It's the little things that really make a difference when you're out camping. Nice, large residential fridge and freezer. I'll go ahead and open it up. Shelves are not assembled yet. We haven't put any shelves in. When they come to us, they come pretty packed up tight because they want to make sure they travel okay. Now you do have a three burner Furion stove. It's nice and sunny outside, so a lot of people are out riding their bikes and we're right by the highway, so I apologize for the noise. Storage, pots and pans, nice seamless, makes it look handy. Nice large microwave with again, more cupboard space. And storage. Another outlet, always handy. It's an outlet for your fridge, of course. All right. I'm gonna try to go right around to the kitchen island. Now, this is what we call a 70 30 sink does come with sink covers for both. Nice pull down faucet. And of course, drawers and cupboard space. That is the storage there for your sink covers. And it can actually fit, I'm gonna try and back up as far as I can. It can actually fit a kitchen garbage, a normal kitchen garbage under the sink. One thing that ends up sometimes getting lost. This kitchen island also does come with an extra chunk of counter that flips up nice and handy when you're trying to wash dishes or maybe food prep, make up the food for the whole family. This does have a bunkhouse, so you're gonna have quite a few guests sleeping. This goes down, this table, I'm sorry, this table goes up, um, for dining, otherwise it goes down and we have it down right now for sleeping. So you would just take these cushions. I always like demonstrating things because it's nice to show how easy it is. Lots of fireside campsite windows, which is great. Keep an eye on the kids, keep an eye on the fire. Nice theater seats. Do have another couch as well. This couch does go into more sleeping area. Storage up above. I'm gonna have to reach Ooh. with my tall, long arms. actually get help from the GoPro stick. <laughs> okay. Your entertainment center is right across from the theater seats. 
you do get an electric fireplace. Now that electric fireplace does put out a little bit of heat. You won't be able to heat your entire camper with it, but it does help take the cold off in the morning or maybe at night. Another great feature is that you can change the light color so the flames can be different colors. Now let's go on into the bunkhouse. A couple things I want to point out. There is an outlet and a USB plug-in right by this couch. This little knob here goes right into, oh, there was motion sensor light. Did you guys see that? It's all the little things. It connects because we all know that sometimes doors get flung open a little bit harder and faster than we would like them to be. That protects your wall on into the bunkhouse we go. So there is a ladder that gets you up into the top bunk. These are double bunks, so they're quite wide. Does have AC ducted through. Over there is a, whoop, sorry. <laughs> There's a plug-in and an outlet. And I'm gonna try and swivel you around and storage there. Now this one is a little easier for me to get into. So I'm gonna crawl in here. So you do have your light, your USB, and outlet there, nice window with, I'm gonna point out, an exit. So if need be, they can get out another light with some more storage. It's always nice when the bunk houses come with storage because that way you have the ability to have the guests who are staying in here, whether that's kids or adults, or whoever have space for their things and then that's their own little space all right we are going to shift gears and we're going to work our way up into the bathroom and the bedroom make a stop here this is the road vac so you have your you put your hose in and you can vacuum out your camper the hose only goes so far but it definitely makes a huge difference in the the big scheme of things nice grab handle for the stairs we'll start in the bathroom nice sink with counter space so you can put the things maybe that you're you're needing to put on the counter some people have electric toothbrushes and they need to be plugged in and need a counter space. Nice medicine cabinet or toiletry cabinet. Oh, that goes just down into there. Do you get oh, drawers. What's nice is that these drawers do have a nice system where they stay closed. Maybe a little bit hard to pull it open sometimes, but then you know when it's going down the roads, drawers aren't flying open and things aren't flinging it out, which is handy. There is a nice wardrobe across here. Lots of space in there. Lots and lots and lots of space. This camper has plenty of space. Now you do have a rod to hang your clothes or it is also a washer dryer hookup ready. For some that's a must. All right, on into the shower. Nice curved door, large domed skylight. So if maybe you're a little bit taller you need to have that extra headroom. This camper has it. Fan. Yet another cupboard. Washcloths, towels, extra things. Toilet. Porcelain. Foot flush. Lots of leg room. All right, now you can access the bedroom through the bathroom or also through the hallway. We'll go ahead and go through the bathroom at this point. 
Now this is a pocket door, so this just slides on over. Storage space, counter space or nightstand space. I guess it's more of a nightstand than a counter. An extra space up above. Plugins and outlets are handy, so you have the ability to plug in your tablets, your phones, your CPAP machines, whatever you may need, it's there. The lights above the bed, I'm gonna try, oh, I gotta reach. Don't have to be on at the same time. So that's nice if maybe one person is a night owl and wants to stay up later than the other. Storage, that's your hose to your vacuum. It's on hydraulics, so I did that with one hand and I didn't have to hold it up while I was looking. More wardrobe space. You've got two of them, so it's his and her space, or maybe it's hers and hers, and he gets a drawer. I don't know. Outlet, USB plug-in. Nice, large window. Helps bring in the sunlight, maybe the moonlight. Drawers. And there's the other his and her closet. Nice space. Another window, also an exit. And wardrobe here, dresser drawers. Lots of space comes in handy. There you are. And that is the bedroom. Now we're going to work our way back into the living room kitchen area. And what's nice about working our way back that way is that you get a nice view of the entire space. There's accent lighting, nice fan. We do have two ACs in this camper and it is ducted all the way through. So you do have cold air, you do have heat, you have a lot of things. What doesn't this camper have, really? So there you have it. It is the 2022 Keystone Montana High Country, the 351 BH. My name is Haley Johns, and if you'd like to work with me on this unit, or maybe any other unit in our inventory, give me a call, 218-740-4997. And just so you know, I'm willing to go the extra mile to help you camp in style. Have a great day.